The device is mostly detecting neutrons and gamma rays. For the gamma rays, it can give us a detailed energy spectrum of which um, isotope has been identified. And for neutrons, it gives us kind of the rate of uh, neutrons in the environment. The concept that Chromec developed with these devices when they incorporated our detectors and sensors into them was to actually have a network of many, potentially hundreds or even thousands of these devices worn by first responders like police and, and fire. And therefore, you're building up a map by having many of these devices round there. So you don't necessarily have to be right on top of the thing in order to, to detect it. We built a benchtop version of, uh, of an equipment which was later converted into a handheld uh, equipment by the company which uh, developed this radiation detector. And then it, it became one of their product lines which was very successful. So the pr prior to our engagement with industry, we received funding from organizations like STFC, but the specific transfer of the technology to the company was funded by Innovate UK. This project has many dimensions, many new uh, directions, and some of them we, we are already uh, working on. Uh, for example, a position sensitivity inside the scintillator can be obtained by using these photosensors in different configurations around the crystal. And this is something we have developed already at York uh, in collaboration with uh, Chromec and, and industrial partners. The benefit that it's bringing to society is protecting us against the hazard of what they call dirty bombs. And so in many countries in the world, governments are very concerned about the risk of that type of event. And this sort of technology strongly mitigates that risk because if you're building up a, a map of an environment or let's say an urban environment, then this would provide additional security against that. 